Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of the comments, a couple days ago we talked about a question in the comments about using Coco Coir and uh, the pH you want to have it at. And I answered it yesterday, but uh, what I want to do today is Scott actually addressed this question, one of the viewer questions. So I want to take that little chunk where he talked about it. So the question was, when you're using Coco Coir, the conventional industry wisdom is you want to be at 5.0 to 6.0, but that's not the case when you're using Nectar for the Gods because it's uh, really trying to focus on calcium uptake, which is uh, more fortuitous at 6.3, 6.4, somewhere in there, and you're still getting that other stuff, but you want to focus on the calcium, not focus on those NPK type nutrients. So anyway, he goes into it way better than I do. So watch this video. I'll talk to you after. Cocoa's still soil. It's soilless by our industry standard. Cocoa and perlite is still a soil. It's a yeah. medium. So uh -huh. we're still a calcium based line. Yeah. It doesn't matter what medium you're in, we're still trying to get calcium to be absorbed into the plant. Sure. We need to do that at that 6.1 to 6.6 range. Sure. The industry has messed everybody's head up with this cocoa robs calcium and magnesium from plants because the buffering of cocoa is not buffered. People aren't buffering their cocoa. They're shredding cocoa, adding perlite, so there's salt, potassium, magnesium. Um, they're not calcium. rinsing it. When you say they're, buffer, they're not rinsing the stuff out of they're it. Not they're, they're not washing it. They're not rinsing it, and they're not adding anything to it. They're literally yeah. chipping it. They're destroying Just, the tilt. They're ruining it, and... And then adding perlite to it, okay. and now... And then you get a synthetic grower, a salt-based nutrient grower, which is fine. Uh -huh. It's great medium for salt, guys, because yeah. they can just hammer, hammer, and hammer. Yeah. And because the cocoa's salty, it's, it's well suited already, to it. Yeah, it's already buffered with the nutrition that uh -huh. the plant's going to get. So the plant's not trying to access nutrition from it. It's just pulling nutrition from the salt. So the the you're the number two. You're 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 rinsing out a lot of salt, but you're also buffering it with limestone, limestone so that too. we're building the cations into the soil so that okay. with our calcium-based nutrient, we're getting them to react to each other and the plant can absorb our calcium and our nutrition at the pH that we're desiring because it's a calcium delivery. The rest of the industry is N, P, and K. Yes. N, P, and K are all available at 5, 7 to 6, 1. So when everyone's coming at me with, I, should I be watering this at 5, 5 because it's... No. No. With general hydroponics, you want to be watering 5, 7 to 6, 1 yeah. to be most available because that's where nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium are most available. And that's why they're using that salty stuff to grow it in because... It's all around the same room. Well, and if you buy if you buy my nutrients, you should buy my soil because sure. we designed them together. If you buy right. a can of nutrients, you should buy can of cocoa sure. because they built their cocoa to work with their salt. So if he can't get that or whatever and he's got this cocoa, what would he do with his cocoa to make his cocoa more Check your EC, just doing a quick PPM read. And then what am I looking for? How, what's your couple numbers? hundred or something? I mean, if it's above two hundred, I'd be washing. And if it's above five hundred, that's salty. And if it's above seven hundred, they're buffering it with salt. They're they're making they're putting CalMag okay. in to make this thing a nitrogen calcium release. Okay, I get my EC down or my EC is down. Then what? Well, depends how you got it down. If you just watered it out, you've done nothing because all you've done is washed out salt and you didn't build any cations. Right. Uh -huh. If you put in limestone to react to that salt, then you build up the cations, the CEC of the medium starts growing, and then it starts reacting with our nutrition better. Maybe I'd soak it with some Olympus, some Olympus up. up. Like, so I would like mix up some Olympus up in some water and pour it all over there and just let it kind of soak in? Is that what I would do? And what's what the I've process? done is like taking a brick, throwing it in a, you know, I'll buy a brick of cocoa back yeah. in the day, throw uh -huh. it in the trash can, hydrate it with, you know, 8.0 pH water. So uh -huh. seven water with pH of one point up with yeah, uh -huh. Olympus up, let it soak 24 hours, it flocks out. Yeah. Then I just add more water and I press it out and I squeeze all the water out. Good to go. Yeah, it sucks. It's a lot yeah. of work. but Or a lot of people just plant in it because it's lower pH in the very early stages of veg. Uh -huh. 6.0, you've got all the nitrogen even from our nutrients going in. You spend the first three weeks of veg slowly building out, you know, flushing okay. out with your... Feed, feed, flush, feed, feed, flush, feed, flush, feed, feed, flush, you'll be down and buffered by the time you go to And it didn't matter back when you were first in there with the plant. Yeah. And oh, at okay. the end of the day, even if that medium is five, yeah. you're watering at six, four. So the time you're watering, the plant's still being able to absorb some of the nutrition. You're just trying to buffer that medium back up. Okay, so there is something that we may want to fix this, but there's also just that it's going to fix itself through our philosophy of how we're doing it, what we're doing. Yeah. And we just don't have to worry about it so much because we, just we don't stress it. We just yeah. don't try to, we don't, 
we never tell people to feed at a lower pH because that's what the industry standard is yeah. for cocoa fiber. That's yeah. not an industry standard. That's a synthetic standard to the industry. Okay, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that and found it informative. We sure appreciate Scott doing that. So I think this pretty much settles the pH range, but there are other issues when using Coco Coir with Nectar for the Gods. And we're going to talk some more about that tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you then. I love you. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.